Well, what do we have here? These deer hunters right there said that there was a beaver lodge around here somewhere. And I've been looking for it for like 20 minutes. Oh, there it is, right there. Wow, look at the size of this thing, you guys. Oh, there's a bunch of me out of this lodge right there. You can see it. I done seen it. See right there? Right there. It's a run coming out of the lodge. There's another one over there. Huh. Well, guys, this lodge is freaking massive. Huge lodge, you guys. This thing is a freak. It's freaking huge. Like, that's, the, that's what you're getting of it. I'm going to just skip to the other side here so you get a better look at it. Hopefully I don't drown. There's got to be some bank does around here. Okay, here we go. Look at, look at this thing. Monster. Monster, monster. Anyway, it's going to be part three of my series of Attack on the Beavers at Deer Camp, baby. There's got to be some monsters in here, you guys. You get way back in the woods like this, this colony is it. I've never been trapped before. Um, they said that this this one has never been tra never been trapped in like the 15 years that they've been here. So anyway, got to be some big beaver in here, guys. We're starting to lose the light. I'm gonna get on it. Hopefully find a bank den or do or two. That's really been what I've been finding a lot of the beaver on. Um, or these runs maybe they're shallow enough. Let's find out. All right, you guys. Massive lodge, five bank dens, guys. Open, wide open water. Some of these bank dens are freaking, freaking wide. All right. I'm expecting a good catch here tomorrow. Like, really good. I don't know how I couldn't. I mean, uh, there's also one run in the lodge I can probably set. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna power through some of these bank dens, you guys. Like I said, you guys don't need to see me. I've said it before. Maybe you, don't, maybe you guys don't care. How do you, what do you guys think about seeing me set some of these traps? Got my arm link gloves on this time. Previous videos I didn't. And only reason is because I left them in the truck. That's it. That is the only sole reason why they were not on any other videos. Okay. All right. A lot of these are shallow, you guys, super shallow. So I'm just gonna put the springs out like that, sideways, like so. And then, this here, my wire above the ice. I'll put this down in the water. Works so much better with these gloves, you guys, man. It's nice. Oh gosh, I don't even have to uh, get my hands super wet and dirty and ugly and nasty. Okay, got that baby right centered in the run. Okay, that one is in. See here, the trap hasn't turned or done nothing crazy. Here. Oh no, you don't wear. You're not going anywhere. Okay. There. All right. That 330 is in, pointed right towards where the beaver are coming from. There's a bunch of pine trees knocked down around here, so I'm using whatever I can to just secure these traps from going down the hole. Here we go, you guys, set number one. All right, set number two. Just a bank den coming up, you guys. I'm gonna hammer through some of these. Show you how fast you can set them, especially these shallow ones like this, you know. They can be very easy fast here we go okay
wire. There we go. Got wire out of here. Oh, oh yeah, boys. Perfect. Get that trap right in that run, you guys. These runs are you guys new. I almost feel bad these runs are so nice. Okay, I think that one's good to go, too. All right, trap number four. Three, four, three, four out of six bank dens. Yeah, you heard me say it, right? Six bank dens. I thought originally thought it was five, but it's not at six. Um, where's the end of my wire at? Okay. Okay. You know, another trick, you guys, I want to let you know. You know, when you're when you're trapping beaver like this, and you uh, When you're trapping beaver like this, you guys, um, you don't want this trap to move. When I say that, I mean you don't you don't want it to move when it's in the run. You know what I mean? When you get a beaver in one of these traps, so you want these traps to move. Um, if they're if you don't have a perfect catch, you know, um, these beaver can get enough leverage. Where I've seen them, Ooh, that one doesn't have a bottom thing on it. I have literally seen them pop a 330 off their head because it wasn't a you know a nice square catch on their head. So that's just another little thing that a lot of you might already know. And some of you guys that are just learning or just want you know a lot of people are like, hey, give me a little tip, you know. Or you know, any tips you can give are appreciated. You don't want 50 sticks in there so your trap goes off and your trap doesn't move. That's not what you want. You want your trap to go off and then you want... Ooh, let's see here. Ah. That's exactly what I want right there. Other side can go right here. All right, is that good? Yeah, it's good. Okay, here we go. Another down your teepee style set. Oh, trap number four. So you you want that trap to go off, and you want the beaver to be able to move around you you know be nice if that track trap can move just a little bit okay all right you guys we're back for our first check battle of the beaver at deer camp episode three. First check of this big lodge here i had six bank den set one in the lodge snare on the lodge six con bears let's run those sets and see if we can pick up a beaver or two all right you guys we're at the frickin' the Taj Mahal beaver houses, checking. I can see a big beaver laying right there. Or a beaver, I should say. First set, right there. That beaver is history. Well, that makes a guy feel good. 
First trap, dead beaver. Stick there. Stick here. Oh. Woo! Talk about a head catch there, boys. That beaver. There's history. We're gonna just unwire this here and pull it out. Take a look. Oh, big beaver. That one hasn't been in there for a real, real long time. But there's a nice, nice big beaver, you guys, right by the head in that bank den. Before I pull it out, let's go down and we'll check the rest of these sets. Feels like we got a beaver in this one though. Let's put my hands down cautiously so I can feel the top of that trap. Oh, we got another big beaver, you guys. Another big beaver. Double. Big beaver double. Sweet. Those are probably that's probably a two and a half year old. So that's two big beaver now out of this check. We've got two sets left. We got a snare down here and a th one more 330. All right, you guys. So just reset this trap. We got two, I'd say two year olds or adults out of this big lodge so far. Since this is the creme de la creme, the Taj Mahal, we up the ante and I added three or four more sets. Um, added, there was a snare on the other side that was pulled down. I put in a brand new Duke 330 on that side, a brand new Dirk 3, Duke 330 on this side on this run, another bank down on the other side, Duke 330, and a snare. So 10 sets total here. Hopefully tomorrow we pull out some more beavers. There's gotta be some small ones in here and there's gotta be some giants in here. Anyway, definitely can't complain about that. Two nice big beaver day, you guys. Yo, what's up? Destruction. Mayhem. Giant beaver lodge. You guys see it? Mm-hmm. Right there. Anyway, back here for check number two on this lodge hoping for more beaver caught two big ones yesterday i know there are bigger beaver in here there is not two two-year-olds that have cut down hundreds of trees and made a food cache in a lodge of that size it's impossible so check number two man versus beaver war on the water hope you guys are enjoying this series this is going to be a good one all right, you guys. War on the water, baby. She is in full effect. Two big beaver yesterday out of this massive lodge. Added three more sets. Changed one of them. I did have a snare on the other side of that beaver lodge. I switched it out to a brand new 330. Added another 330 on this side of the lodge. Um, that stuff looks kind of, no, maybe not. Um, then I added another 330 over there and added another, added, or moved that snare over to a bank down over there. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed the magnitude of damage these beaver have done. This is just leveled, as you can see. They're taking everything. They're taking maples, they're taking birch. Other side of the lake is leveled. That side is leveled. You go back there a ways, leveled even more so i knew there was more than just two good sized beaver in here there's got to be some small ones there's got to be some monsters is what my thoughts were anyway yesterday i checked that trap and it was sprung nothing in it now today i got up here and i'm just looking i poke through i can see some dark color right here below some dark color right here coming in i'm hoping this is a really big beaver because 
I specifically set this Belial in this run because I knew this was a really wide run and it just told me that there's monster beaver living in here. So I'm hoping for like a 60 pounder, you guys, out of this pond. There's gotta be like a freaking Titanic sized beaver in here somewhere. Gotta be. And this might be one of them. It's awfully dark. Is this a, this beaver is, he looks black, but I don't think he is all the way black. Gosh, got him coming in too. I had that trap specifically angled. I don't wanna, don't want this beaver freezing to the ice and damaging the pelt. There we go, pelt is loose. This could be a giant, it could be another two year old. Who knows, you guys ready? find out because I am oh, it's a big beaver oh, it looks like another two-year-old you guys another oh. another two-year-old beaver you guys look at that he's carrying a stick with him headed into this bank den you guys ever have a trap that sprung you always wonder was it set square was it you know what could have what could I have done better often there's not a lot of stuff you can do muskrats can do it or like in this case fortunately this beaver didn't have a must not have had a lot of this stick protruding out in front of his head because if it would have that stick would have hit the trigger first and I would not have caught this big beaver you guys there we go what I do, I just knock a little bit of the ice off of it and then let the rest thaw in my little storage unit. All right, you guys, just caught a big beaver in that trap over there. I said I had four traps, I forgot, actually I have five. Had a bank den set here. This lodge run I set yesterday, a lot of bubbles in there, promising. Anyway, this bank den that I set on day number one had nothing in it yesterday, but there's a bubble in it. And I put my ax down and I, I can feel that the trap is sprung. So, is that a, something in here? Oh, oh yeah, oh, there's a, that's a little beaver, you guys. Did I get him around the waist or the tail or something? Cause he is, <laughs> I just seen his head pop up. What happened there? Oh no, I got him, suitcase catch. There we go. Suitcase catch on this beaver coming in. That guy was going nowhere. And I mean nowhere. Nowhere fast. This guy out. I fully expect there to be a little beaver in this. Or something. You know. Or some, I don't know, maybe nothing. Oh, there's a beaver in it. There is a beaver in it, you guys. That's positive. Probably a little guy, who knows. Trap is fired, that's all that I care about. Get on the other side of this, probably. This stuff was bad yesterday. Like you, I woke up this morning, it was nine degrees out, okay? That's definitely nice. Well, if it was a big one, they wouldn't be forget they wouldn't be pulling this out anyway there we go come on there we go what do we got another little beaver all right you guys another little beaver this is in this brand spanking new duke 330 brand new you guys you look at it you see it's brand new see that I got that beaver coming in now from another run, but I do know that there's at least one more run in the front of the lodge I can't even touch bottom in. So anyway, well guys, that's three beaver for today out of here. We still got three sets left. See a big air bubble in it. Air bubbles are good. That usually means contact with beaver. No? 
Yes? Oh yeah. Yep, I see a beaver. I see a beaver, you guys. Whew. I see a beaver coming in to this set. Beaver coming into this set, you guys. Mm, can't tell. Is it small? Gotta find out. It's a big beaver. A bit like giant? I don't know. A giant or... It's not a baby. Oh, there's a, that's a big one. There we go, you guys. That's a big beaver there. That is, in fact, not a two-year-old beaver, you guys. Let's see here. got that beaver coming in you guys well that's pretty sweet you guys I mean I caught I do got a sprung trap kind of sucks but I'm gonna take this guy out we'll do a little recap oh cardiac arrest all right you guys Let's check number two on this lodge I don't know if I should come. Normally I check the first two days and I wait a couple days and check again. Two smalls I caught out of this lodge or mediums. So you guys, these beaver are the same size. I'm just gonna show you something. See the tails on these beaver? See how this one's like long and pointy? This one's more rounded. So these beaver literally they take after the parents, tail style. So I'm gonna assume that this big one I caught in that last bank den is probably the big male. Because look at this tail. See that long and pointy and skinny? Long and pointy and skinny. I'm gonna say that that's, that is one of the adults for sure, like for sure, 100%. That, is a two-year-old. He'll f normally they kick these beaver beaver out of the lodge. Like this spring, that beaver should have been gone and into a different pond. But there's ponds around here that are loaded with beavers. Um, yeah, my other videos you see, I've seen. I'm catching them that size. So, so far, I've caught three that size, those two, and that monster. I would say there's going to be another big one, maybe a, a big female. That's a pretty big beaver, you guys, though. That might be a, that could be a 60-pounder. And Notice how these guys are kind of wet looking. This one's nice and dry. This one's pretty limp. This one's been caught recently. And you guys know that when you catch them, they've been there for hours, they stiffen up, and the body's a lot more, you know, rigor mortis style. That very well could be a 60 pounder. It's long, it's got the body for it. Anyway, check number two on this massive beaver lodge. We'll uh, see you out here on the next check for the old War on the Water beaver series. Hey guys, what's up? We're back at the mega Taj Mahal of beaver houses to do our third check, is it? I think it's our third check on uh, this pond. Um, yeah. Anyway, I think we pulled four beaver out here last time. There's gotta be a big one left. There's gotta be some small ones left. Go and check, hopefully pull one. We'll see, pull two, pull a dozen, I don't know. Uh, depending, we'll probably reset and check one more time. All right, you guys, we are back to the giant beaver house by the deer stand. We've caught, I think, six beaver out of here so far. Got my trusty buddy Emery out here to haul the beaver out for me. You betcha. We've checked, I don't know, four traps. Let me see here. There's one, two, three, four. There's five traps left to check. This one here, walked up to it. There's an air bubble in it. Put the axe handle in, felt some fur. 
knew immediately that the beaver was mine. All right, there's a stick, there's a stick. I'm still looking for a big one, a really big one. There's gonna be a bunch of small ones in here too. Like this one here is a small one. You guys, oh. That is a really small beaver. Got that guy coming in. Huh, okay, well that's three small beaver out of here. I'd imagine there's there might be a couple more. We'll find out. We'll run the rest of these traps here and see what happens. All right, you guys, we got a sprung trap here and we got a sprung trap over in the lodge. Um, you seen the other day on this trap here, we had a big beaver in it. Ooh, there's, feels loose like there, I don't know, maybe there's nothing in it. Oh, wait, a muskrat. <laughs> Perfect, you guys. You know what? We don't like muskrats because they spring our traps. See, a lot of times when you have a sprung trap and there's nothing in it and you're scratching your head going, what the hell happened? How did I miss that beaver? You didn't. Muskrat got in there. All right, we'll reset that. Well, I won't show you the reset on that. We got one trap over here on the lodge that was sprung. We'll go over and see if there's anything in that one. Right, this one right here. This one right here is sprung. Oh, good God, man. It was sprung the other day with nothing in it, but that could be my scraps. This is a deeper run too, you guys. I'm just guessing it's gonna be a small beaver because it's on the lodge, generally. There's something in it anyway. Is there. Oh, is that? Oh, I grabbed the wrong blocking off stick. Oh. Is this, is this a mistake or did I mess up here, guys? Oh, oh yeah, this is a mistake. This does not feel small, you guys, to be honest with you. Doesn't feel small. Let's see what we got here. Small beaver don't feel like that. Big beaver do. Monster, you guys. Monster coming into this lodge right by the head. Oh, oh look at that monster, Emery. Oh, there we go. Oh, you guys. That is a big beaver. Gosh. That's be big beaver number five out of here, I think. But that's not a two-year-old, that's a blanket, you guys. That might be the other really big beaver we were looking for out of here, to be honest with you. Huh. Well, I'm gonna reset these traps quick, dry these beaver off, and we'll give you a look at them. On your note. All right, you guys. Here's our little catch. This one here, muskrat messed up her set, but it's better than nothing. Another small beaver, and then this is an, this is an adult, guys. It's a big beaver. This is probably the mate to the other one I caught last time I was here, because that one was 60 pounds. That makes five big beaver and three small beaver. Eight beaver out of this pond, that's pretty good. I don't know if there's any more. There might be a couple stray ones running around. I put the traps back in. Um, yeah, we're gonna leave them for one more check, you guys, so. Yeah, peace out. All right, you guys, we're back for our one, God, what are you, four? This is our fourth check on this big old lodge right here. This is pull day, okay? I haven't checked in two days. I got the majority of the beaver out of here. A lot, I think I got five adults out of here, you guys. Okay, um, so I'm pulling these traps. The first three, I think, I pulled no air bubbles in there at all. This one here, there's some air bubbles in there. So I'm just gonna chop it out for you guys and pull it out. There might be nothing in there. There might be something, who knows. A 
Oh, uh, yeah, there's something in there, right? Oh, ha, ah, muskrat. Muskrat in a, huh, look at that. My spring sprung on me. I'm gonna have to push those together and probably weld them. These old, these old Victors are really good traps, but I've noticed that those springs can get a gap in them big enough to where where uh, they'll uh, pop off the 330. Come on, come on. Huh, look at that guy. We'll fix you up, dude. Or the rat, anyway, you guys. If I don't catch nothing else, it's a rat. There we go, dude. Well, you guys, that was the last check. One little rat on that hut in a bank den. I'm pretty sure I cleaned them out, you guys. Um, I got three extra large, two blankets, big, big beaver, and three small ones, and that's Probably what's been doing all the damage to this property. That's eight beaver, right? Yeah, eight beaver. Okay. Simple quick math, right? Eight beaver. Well, that was, I think that was a pretty freaking sweet episode of man versus beaver at the deer camp here. I think it's going to be, I think it's my best one by far with the numbers and the size. Anyway, you guys, appreciate all the views and the subs. I'm, trying to hit 40k this might be a 40 by the time i get out i don't know no probably not i need a lot I need about 2800 i suppose as of today anyway thanks a lot for watching you guys please drop a sub if you haven't already share this video with your friends who like trapping and anyone else that even doesn't like trapping right because any Attention is good attention on YouTube, right? Not necessarily. Peace.